In this video, I'm going to be breaking down one of my favorite five wide passing concepts out of the trip side information in Madden 22. This is a great little passing concept that you can use that is going to be able to beat every single coverage in the game. And one of the things I really like about this concept is it puts defenders in conflict. It, it really is one of the best spacing style approaches that you can have out of the trips tight in formation, uh, which is one of the many reasons why I really like it. So we combine several different concepts within one here, and I think you're gonna really enjoy this play. So if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel, and it just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies that we release every single day here on the channel. I'm talking today about the New England Patriots uh, playbook. Ideally, if you don't have Titan Apprentice, you would want to use this play Pat's Y in. But if you do have Titan Apprentice, you can pretty much use any concept in the formation uh, to be able to run this effectively. Uh, I would personally tell you that um, you could do this out of PA Con or Go. You could do this out of almost anything in the formation. Uh, also, if you real quickly, if you want to, if you want to get serious about getting better at Madden, I want to encourage you to join my Patreon membership. It's only ten dollars a month, and the cool part about it is it gets you access to all of my Madden 22 offensive and defensive eBooks. Not just one of them, but all of them. Yes, Trip Side In is in there. Yes, Bunch is in there. Yes, U Trips is in there, and uh, several defenses are in there as well. Um, if you're struggling on the defensive side of the ball, I think you're going to find that membership very helpful for helping you defend some of the main uh, stream stuff. And then also uh, the cool part about it is you get all the updates to that while your membership's active. So we update it every week with the little tweaks, different changes, different things like that. Um, we also update it with new eBooks uh, pretty regularly as well. We've got 18 offensive and defensive guides in there. That's more than any other website in the Madden community. And I think that we're gonna continue to pump content out for you. So if you're looking to get better at the game, I truly think that you're gonna find a lot of value in the Patreon membership. So there's a link in the description if you want to go sign up for it. It's only $10 a month. So trip side in PA counter go and this is how we're gonna um, this is a great little route combo uh, that I'm about to show you. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the running back on it in route and we're gonna motion him out. This is gonna create a five wide um, attack. So as you can see here we have a nice little five wide uh, formation. We're then gonna smart route the running back Okay, we're gonna crosser the tight end or post the tight end, it's up to you. I like the crosser a little bit better than the post just because I think it's gonna give us a little better spacing. With the number three receiver, you can do a couple of different things with him. I personally, this is just how I've been running this, this concept, I actually like to hitch him. And the reason I like to hitch him is because what I'm gonna do with the number two receiver is I'm gonna zig him, so I've got a hitch and a zig, and then I've got the fade. And this five wide concept is really, really, really good. You could, if you wanted to, you could drag him and then still keep the zig. Uh, I like to hitch him because he's just going to hitch up. And then if I want to playmaker him, I can. If they're running more man coverage, then hit, then drag him. If they're running more zone, then I like to, I like to hitch. So anyways, against cover four, it's really a true left to right read. You're going to read fade to zig to crosser hitch to in route. So fade. No, zig, yes, I can take the zig, and I'll take that. And that zig route is really good because what's going to happen is we're creating a little triangle read on that side of the field. And so because of the triangle read that we're creating, it really does force them to have to hard flat over on that left side. The problem is when they hard flat, that's going to then leave a massive void for your crosser just like that. Okay. So let's say, for example, that they don't, um, you know, let's say, for example, we're facing some of the meta stuff. So let's say we're going to face some Mike Blitz 3. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to go with a, uh, a purple, or not a purple, but a 30-yard um, a cloud, and then like a 5-yard uh, purple kind of thing. And then we've got our user in the middle of the field. This is a very popular way that people like to defend. This play really does a good job against Mabel. And the reason why it does so good is, is because it's like got such good spacing. So what you'll see on the left side is if they don't have a vertical hook, this route to circle is gonna be wide open. As you can see right here, I can easily playmaker that up. I can do whatever I want with that route on that side of the field. So let me show you that again. Again, I'm gonna to go to Mike Blitz 3. This is drop eight, by the way. So, I mean, they are dropping a substantial, um, or drop nine, actually. Um, they're dropping a substantial amount of people into coverage uh, to try to defend this. And so 
yes, you're going to be able to have yourself a nice little wheel, or not wheel, but uh, backside read, but play side, you go boom, no, and then I can hit right there. Real simple. If they don't have a vertical hook on the field, that route is there for you. You can hit that over and over and over again. So what that's going to mean is now they're going to have to put some vertical, they have to have a vertical hook and they have to have a hard flat to be able to stop that zig, hitch, um, and post concept or fade concept. The problem with that style of defense, which I'm about to show you here, what that's going to do is it's going to then get them in a situation where they have no but they're in a cover two, right? And so the whole outside of the field on this fade is wide open. As you can see right here, if they're going to run cover two, you're going to throw a fade for a touchdown. Now, ideally, I like to run this with my trips to the wide side of the field. Um, so if you need to flip your trips to do that, that is completely fine. You can feel if you're on the left hash, you can just flip your formation and you're still on the wide side of the field. So they can't really play. Um, that's where they put them in a situation. Now they can't really play cover two. And so they literally just run out of people. I mean, at the end of the day, they're literally just going to run out of people to use or, or to put in position here because they've got a Mabel set up, of course, as you can see here, a little Mabel concept, but they can't vert hook this guy. They have to three wreck him, which is a problem because now they're in a position where, you know, they're going to get hit. So let's say that they now maybe go to a vertical hook here to uh, this guy. And then the user is still going to have to sit over the middle because he's got to cover the running back and the crosser. So now what you're going to see is, oh, there's no underneath flat defender. So I can throw that route to Scotty Miller and get that upfield real easily. So you just basically outrun them in terms of a zone coverage. Cover two doesn't stop it. Cover three doesn't stop it. And cover four doesn't stop it. And the more that they try to get aggressive, let's say they go to a coverage like this right here, this can be problematic. Um, this can be problematic for them because, remember, we still have – the tight end and the running back coming deep over the middle of the field. So you see right here, there's no one guarding the crosser. And that's how the zone is going to get broken down. It's really because you're attacking the zone at four different levels in the zone, which is really, really good. Now let's say, for example, that in, in this, this is something that will happen. If you get a man read, or let's just say they're running some man-to-man -man on you with this, that's really their best chance to guard this, to be honest with you. Um, if they're running some man-to-man, what you want to look at is your fade. Your fade is one of your best weapons against man defense because if they if they want to press you, because they kind of have to press you to stop Scotty Miller, right? So if they want to press you over there, then you're going to get a little shot play on this nine route over the top. Nice little fade route. If you got deep out of lead or short out of lead, oftentimes you're going to be able to beat the press. So now you put them in a position where they have to go with a shaded up approach or put a safety over on that side of the field. Well, the problem with that is when they go shaded up, now everything underneath is open, including um, including your little zig. Your little zig is wide open against this. You can take that for five to seven yards every single time. So this is just a, I mean, it's just one of the best concepts in the game. And let's say they want to try to stop you. Let's say they're trying to send some heat. They say, well, he's in five wide and we're just going to blitz him. That's not a great strategy for this in particular concept because they can't get to you before you can hit your hitch or your zig. And be honest with you, your hitch will be open nine times out of ten if they decide to send pressure out of zone. If they decide to send pressure out of man coverage, I will say man coverage is a little bit better, but you're still in a position of strength against this. Now what you could do against man, if you knew it was man, is you could put circle on the zig, and then you could put this backside guy on a flat. So you see... You could do something like that if you knew it was man pressure. We don't know that, so we're going to go with this look right here. And what you're going to notice here is oftentimes that zig will still come wide open for you. Or what you can also do, and this is why I say if it's more likely to be man, go ahead and put him on a drag because that's going to hold their user in the middle of the field. But let's say that it is man. They have to use the crosser to the tight end. If they don't use the crosser to the tight end, they're toast. So they have to go with the tight end route. Um, the, this is definitely a much better zone beater than man beater, but if that's the case, now their pressure, now I've got time to be able to playmaker that guy open, and you see that he's got the whole field to be able to work with. So it's certainly a better play in zone than it is against man, but it is still very, very good against both. Now, if you're getting a lot of man coverage, and let's say you're getting a lot of shaded up coverage, let's say you're getting a lot of man coverage, this is one of my favorite concepts in the game for that. So 
if you're getting that, just hot route that outside guy on a skinny post. Now you still got that nice pull. You still got the zig, the hitch, all that stuff. But now you've got this route over the top that could be a one-on-one -on -one over the middle of the field for you. So you've got a lot of pieces within this concept uh, to be able to beat pretty much everything. Let's say, for example, last little piece here. Let's say, for example, that their user decides he's going to run with the tight end over the middle. What that's going to do is it should open up a massive void over the middle of the field for your running back to come over the middle on the dig. So you see how the whole middle of the field is open, passing that up, and you see that's wide open. So even against heavy zone drop teams and high, uh, you know, good user over the middle of the field, this is still a really good concept uh, for you to be able to beat every defense in the game. So thanks for watching the video. If you want to get better at Madden, I would really advise you to join the Patreon. It's only $10 a month and it unlocks everything over there. You get all my eBooks that I've done, worked all season on. You get all the new stuff. You get any new updates and you literally get it all in real time. So as soon as you sign up, you have access to everything. So thanks for watching the video. If you want to sign up for the Patreon, there's a link in the description below where you can do that. Uh, and again, it's only $10 a month and you can cancel whenever you'd like. So if you're still watching, you want to sign up for the Patreon, head on down to the description and click the link that I put down below.